Diamondbacks Copenhagen Accord, Dolphin Warriors comes to Animal Planet and bridging the gap between denim and insulation. This is Planet 100. Welcome to Planet 100, the top environmental news stories of the day in 100 seconds or less. I'm Sarah Backhouse and it's Wednesday, March 10th. Yesterday, China joined India in signing the controversial Copenhagen Accord, making it the last major emerging economy to do so. China's formal support of the agreement, which includes voluntary pledges to tackle domestic carbon emissions, comes just hours after India's commitment. More than 100 countries have expressed a wish to be formally associated with a non-binding climate accord. All eyes will now be on Russia, the last remaining major greenhouse gas emitter yet to formally endorse the agreement. Hot off the heels of their Oscar win for Best Documentary, The Cove producers have just been greenlit for a TV series on Animal Planet. According to the LA Times, the series will pick up where the film left off, starring animal rights activist Rico Barry, who exposes the dolphin slayings in the small village of Taiji, Japan, and the dangers associated with eating mercury-laden dolphin meat. The series, tentatively titled Dolphin Warriors, is already in production and is scheduled to premiere on Animal Planet this fall, after The Cove the film debuts in summer. And finally, recycle your worn-out denims into insulation for communities in need. Retail chain Gap has teamed up with Cotton Incorporated for their cotton blue to green drive, which allows you to cull your wardrobe, get a discount on denim, and help those in need. And that's our show for today. See you tomorrow for more Planet 100 news.